whenever people present that Joe Rogan is a, you know, apolitical, he's just a, you know, he's just a guy with various opinions. He doesn't take sides like he's critical about Biden or whatever. Yeah, but, you know, he's got issues with the Republicans too. So Jimmy Dore was on his podcast with him. Jimmy Dore, conspiratorial little freak that promotes anti-vaccine stuff, is allegedly a comedian and was previously on the Young Turks, but has become, you know, kind of Trump apologist, like the horseshoe theory. Yeah, he's another one of these alleged leftists, but not really. Yeah. Uh, come full circle. Yeah. He's he's hopped over to the other pointy end of the horseshoe. So let's hear him on Rogan and Rogan will be demonstrating his centrist bona fides. It's all because of Trump derangement syndrome, though they have to pretend like Joe Biden's some kind of guy with integrity and yeah. dignity instead of, you know, the horrible criminal anti worker guy that he's been his whole life. He's been anti student, anti worker, and he he crossed a goddamn railroad strike. And everybody just memory holds that 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 happened. Like he, if if Trump did that, they would it would be on billboards forever. And uh, I, again, it, it's it's what, what Joe? Why do you think that the because my whole life the establishment loved Donald Trump, right? Well, because the only option is if you don't go with Biden, then you're not with the Democrats. And the Democrats view themselves as a team. They view themselves as a team as much as patriots think of America first. It's like that team is Democrats first. And that's the only representation they have right now. Like, apparently, now I don't know if this is true, but someone was telling, were you telling me about this, Jamie? About the live streaming of, uh, was it you or was it someone else? Of uh, Rob Reiner and all these people. Oh, they were cra- earlier too. Like, I'll find the story. I, I read <laughs> they were all live <laughs> streaming the debate and freaking out. Barbara Streisand's crying. Ah! <laughs> These people are deranged. These people are no different than the Manson family in that they are in a cult. Yeah. They're locked into this ideology. It's not as bad as the Manson family, but it's clearly a a cult. It's an ideological cult where you're not willing to go against any of the doctrines of the cult. And one of the you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to have you have to practice groupthink and that's yeah. And Bill Maher's a heretic, even though he's like he's very much a liberal. He's a heretic because he says Because every once in a while he'll tell the truth. A lot of times. He's just he's not as informed as I'd like him to be about some of the stuff, (laughs) like MK Ultra, the W or Ukraine. Well, I don't know what he knows about new Ukraine, but he hates Donald Trump. But I think I couldn't figure it out on the pocket. Like, he wouldn't even like have a rational discussion as to why he hates that's him. It. He's crazy. Okay, so that's them trying to untangle the mystery of why Democrats won't get behind Donald Trump. Yeah, they must be in a cult. They're in a cult, Matt. Like you know, they're not as bad as the Manson family, but it's essentially the same. But there's an ideological straitjacket. You know, you have to accept all these like complete collection of beliefs in order to not be kicked out of the group now unlike joe and jimmy Dore, where they're talking about the wef ukraine MK, MK MK Ultra. Ultra. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> they're not in a cult <laughs> no no it's Trump the region syndrome unlike the democrats love you know the democratic party just like the american first patriots love america like that's their Thing. So, you know, it's not noticeable that there's a personality cult that has developed around Donald Trump or anything like that. No, 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 no. It's mm. uh, it's purely about love of America. So, yeah, just, you know, rank partisanship. That's that's clearly what it is. I mean, we're not we're not going to rebut that nonsense, but it's just, yeah, it does illustrate that Joe Rogan. I mean, he believes that he's a re- still what he says he is a reasonable guy. He's just he's yeah. noticing things that don't add up, etc. But uh yeah, it is amazing to get this insight into what people do. Like you notice them, they psychologize the Democrats in the same way, admittedly, myself and other progressive people, we psychologize MAGA and Donald Trump, et cetera. I mean, and I, I think I'm right. <laughs> but it's just kind of weird to look through the looking glass here and see how they perceive progressives. It's it's kind of exactly symmetrical, right? Yeah, or at least this the bit that I do not like is the constant appeal to victimhood status, right? Like they're supposed, they're supposed to be against that, but they're constantly talking about how they are being presented as unreasonable and people are, you know, alleging that they are conspiracy brained and so on. But they do the exact same thing. So like there's so many clips of this, like Joe Rogan getting upset when somebody was doing an impression of RFK and then 
you know, immediately doing impressions of whatever Democratic person he wants to blabber on about. So there's just a constant application of double standards. And yet people are constantly buying Cele- into it. Yeah, celebrating, celebrating the, the rational, above it all, truth seeker positioning that they put themselves in. Yeah, it's annoying. Just See them for what they are. You know, there are ranked partisans of all stripes. Yeah. And so there's nothing exceptional about that. You know, it's just that thinking that you're not what you are, that's annoying. Yeah. Everything that Donald Trump does is portrayed unfairly, but Biden is a shambling walking corpse, right? Yeah. But the point is, it's always presented like you can never say a negative word against Biden or whatever. And like, I'll say very up front that like he did terribly in that debate as everybody is acknowledging and yes. is talking about but of course there are polemical partisans who are, you know want to spin things positively but but obviously like obviously they're going to try to do that on twitter my circles are obviously lean heavily democrat and americans because it's the internet 90 percent of people are americans and all i hear is people bemoaning Biden's performance. Yeah. And these are these are partisan Democrats. So that's not very cult like behavior. Shouldn't they be, you know, twisting the reality to to make out that it was, you know, amazing and inspired? A fantastic performance. Yeah. Like I have no particular opinion about Kamala Harris, right? I know I know relatively yeah. little about her. But Trump apologists playing clips of her and going, This person cannot possibly be president. She's far too unpresidential, just not presidential enough. This is from Trump apologist, Chris. I mean, even if you like Trump, even if you think you want Trump to win, nobody that is not mental could think that he's presidential, right? Yeah. Although now I, I do think that since he was president and stuff, that like it, the whole image of the presidency in the US is like now up for grabs. Like, what is presidential <laughs> behavior? You could probably be Coco the Clown and it's like. <laughs> It, would, it wouldn't be surprising. 